Howdy and welcome back. Today's episode is a companion to episode six of building an Angular application in sales, which deals with user authentication. Essentially, we use the same Angular front end that I used in that episode, but build the back end API using Treeline. So let's open up a terminal window and we'll create a new Treeline project. I'm gonna call it AO20 Treeline. If you don't already have the Treeline CLI, it's really easy to install. You just type sudo for super user, npm install treeline and use the dash g parameter for global. So let's go into this project and open it up in the Atom text editor. And as I've said on previous occasions, this looks a lot like a sales application because that's what it is. So what we're doing is in treeline, we're gonna create the API and then treeline's gonna compile that API into a sales project for us. Okay, we want to take the front end assets from Activity Overlord 2.0, which I have here. If you need access to that repo, you can find it here and just clone it. And then we're going to take the assets folder and copy it and the views folder and copy it. And then within the tasks folder, there's a file called pipeline.js and that dictates the loading order of our front end assets. Since we're using Angular, we want our modules to be loaded before our controller and we do that in the pipeline.js file. So I'm just gonna copy that file from the Activity Overlord 2.0 project. Okay, great. One other change we're gonna to wanna to make to this local project is to go into the configs folder and this views.js, we're not gonna be using the layout.ejs file of sales. So I'm gonna set the attribute layout to false. Now let's go back into the terminal window and go to the root of our project and type treeline preview. And treeline is going to ask us which treeline application do we want to sync up with this local project? In this case, it's activity overlord 2.0. So this has the effect of lifting a sales project. If you're familiar with sales, this would be the equivalent of sales lift. Now let's go back into treeline and Activity Overlord 2.0, this project already has three routes and an existing model. And if we go back into our local project, we can see that we've got these controllers. These have been compiled. The routes, the tree line routes have been compiled into these controllers. And then we also can see we have a user model and that coincides with this user model. Now, this was previously built in another screencast that can be found here. Let's take a look at this project in the browser. And this sign up now button is connected to an endpoint first to just get this page. We go into tree line here and the routes. So get slash sign up is just displaying this sign up view and then, and then we'll go back to the page and when I click on create account that's actually pointing to a different route to actually uh, post sign up which is using this circuit and this series of machines and like I said you can go to this screencast that will show you how and why we built that. So we can create a user, in this case, uh, let's make my hero Nikola Tesla, and he is a genius. So now we've created that account, and you'll just have to take my word for it. Actually, you know what, we can use blueprints. Of course, these are configurable, but there is our record, our one record in the user model. So what we want to hook up next is the endpoint when the user signs in. But what does signing in really mean? It means that we're going to take an identifier, in this case their email address, and look up in our user model for a record that has that email address. And if we find it, then we want to compare the user supplied password with the encrypted password we found for the user in the user model. 
If they match, the user has proved that they are who they say they are, and we can store this proof on the server temporarily in the form of a session variable. Okay, let's implement this. And we'll create a new route, and we'll call it put slash login. Okay, so what do we want to happen here? All right, the user, let's go back and look at this page. The user is going to be submitting these two fields. So probably the first thing we want to do is find that user, see if it actually exists. So I'm going to use this uh, find one machine, and I'm going to do a query based upon the email address. I'm going to get that email address from a route parameter, not surprisingly called email. All right, so now we're querying for that user via their email address. And if we find a user, I want to check out their password. So let's go to this password machine pack. And let's see, check password sounds like a, a good machine to put in here. And it has two parameters. The first is going to be the password that we're getting from the form. And then the encrypted password, we actually want to get from this find one machine, the user that it found. And specifically, we're going to break open this bubble and say, you know what, we uh, want the encrypted password. So it's going to, this machine is going to compare these two. And if it's successful, I want to add an attribute uh, to the session. So I'm going to get a machine pack session and grab this save to session machine and it's going to want a key which I'm going to call me and I want the value to be the ID of the user so I'm going to break up in this bubble again and we'll have the user that we found and set it to their ID okay so how can we quickly check whether this is working or not. The easiest way to do it is go to the util machine pack and we'll grab the log a message machine. And in that message, I'm just gonna say the session.me attribute is, and then we'll go to the session and get the me attribute. Let's go back into Activity Overlord and let's sign in. And we'll go to the console and there's our value. And it is indeed an ID of one, the first record of our user model. Now, once the user signs in, we want that user to have a different front end experience than a user that isn't authenticated. So we need some way of marshalling between an authenticated user and an unauthenticated user. We can do that by creating our last route, which will be a get request to slash. So when a user signs in, if successful, we'll redirect them to slash, and that circuit for this route will determine whether the user is authenticated or not and route them to the appropriate page. Okay, let's implement this get request to slash. We'll go ahead and delete the current machine that's on this route and start with a blank circuit. So the first thing we want to do is determine if the user is logged in. And we do that by just seeing if that me attribute actually exists off the session. So I'll do control P and we'll look on the session for the attribute me. So if we find it, next I want to find that user. I'm going to use a find one machine here. So I'm going to do a query looking for that user by ID. And I'll find that value as the value of the me attribute on the session. Now I want to bootstrap that user data on a view, in this case, dashboard. 
And so I can just start creating an object here. And I'll have the ID, which I'll get using Control P from the results of this find one user. We'll break the bubble open and get the ID, comma, name, same thing, Control P, and we'll break that open for name, email, the title, and finally the Gravatar URL. Okay, if we don't find a user, we just want to go ahead and display the home page. And the same if we don't find a session. Okay, now let's see if this works. So I'm going to go in and log in as Nicola at Tesla.com. And this should take me to the dashboard page. Great, it does. And if we take a look at the page source, we can see that our data is bootstrapped on the page. Now let's quickly implement this sign out, which is actually just a get request to log out. So we'll go back to Treeline and I've actually got this route already implemented. Let's just go over it real quick. It's really straightforward. It's basically going to use the delete session key machine and it's going to destroy the attribute or delete the attribute, uh, me off the session. And then it's just going to redirect to our page, a marshaller, which is just slash. So we'll go back into the activity overlord, sign out, and that takes us back to the home page. Be sure and follow me on Twitter. And if you don't already have Treeline, head over to treeline.io and sign up for the beta. As always, thanks for watching.